very serious topics, very serious ideologies. Um, I think our sisters have been tricked. Our women, our black women have been tricked. And what's happening is the tricks that they fell for are killing our communities, hurting us really, really bad. You know, on top of 80% of all divorces, women are filing for divorce. So that's killing families, breaking up families. Um, single mothers, 72% of all black prisoners were raised in a single mother household. 72%. That's very significant. That's a problem. That's systematic destruction for the black community and family. We have to understand where that's coming from. I mean, it's it's a shame. It's a problem. It's something we need to really look into. Just imagine if a young lady, single-handedly, young lady, creates her own single mother household. She's actually creating a dysfunctional family. If she has two baby fathers, three baby fathers, three different kids, etc., that's three different dysfunctional families. Um, men, I talk to my men. I'm telling them, like, listen, if you're not raising your own kids under one roof with the mother that you had those kids with, that's a dysfunctional family. If you don't understand the child support system and how its destruction hurts black families in the black community, it's systematically done in a way to hinder a black man financially, a black woman as well. Child support is not for the betterment of the child. It's for the limitation of finances for the man to be able to create wealth in his family. So we have to understand exactly where that's coming from. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of aspects to it all, a lot of ins and outs. I'm just touching on some things. Um, it's it's becoming a problem. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I used to promote marriage. I used to promote men. Think about marriage. Women, get married before you have kids. I'm promoting all of this stuff because I know the detrimental aspect of what it does when you do things out of order. And people are complacent. People are not caring anymore that they're doing things out of order. You know, it's sad. You know, it's sad. I see it from both sides. I see it where the man did all he could, pays for his family, puts the down payment on the house, makes the mortgage payment. He's the provider. He's paying for everything. And 20 years later, she decides, you know what? I'm going to move on, get divorced, take the house. She gets everything. She didn't put any money into it. He spent his whole life working and paying for his home, for his family. And the woman gets it all. I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. I don't understand why we as a community, black community in particular, why we allow our young folk, boys and girls, men and women, to just ramble on with life and being lit and all of these things and party through the most important years of adulthood that set you up for the future of community, the future of wealth, the future of prosperity. We just allow our young people to just frivolously run through their 20s and 30s. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's a shame. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking.